We do have Forky moving on, uh, flags into the losers, and right now we have the first losers uh, top eight: Heyman versus Pucci, Pucci EXE. Yeah, and as we all know, Pucci ain't stupid. <laughs> now this uh this particular set of matches is going to be uh, very bad for me because what I'm seeing is the inferior blocks. Um, the, the traditional using, pokey using, using Pokemon the, block. Uh, using the badges, which is which is not okay. You have to use the Tetris attack pieces. Yeah. So I think for a lot of players who started with a with Tetris attack, those blocks feel so natural. Um, these blocks also strain my eyes as well. <laughs> yeah. And we do have Taman taking the first match, or first round already. Yeah, Taman's actually been, um, he's one of the more recent additions to the community, and especially in the speedrunning community, and he's really taken off with this game. He's been doing amazingly well, doing some good things with, uh, with Pokemon Puzzle League, uh, speedrun. Yeah, he's off to like really good starts with this chains too. Mixing up like combos in there, getting that top off as soon as he can. And also a stark difference is that these players are playing on level eight, uh, not level nine, as the winners were. Oh, and Tayman is just... taking a quick match. Tayman wow. getting a little uh, frazzled there. He wasn't able to get that block out of the way in time. He had a clear right underneath it. Yeah. Might might also be nerves. Um, I don't know how many tournaments these guys have played in, but definitely not as much as our um, our winner side, who are all seasoned players and seasoned tournament goers. Um, I do know that on the other side of losers with Raiko and uh, I like being smart. Those two also have quite a bit of tournament experience that so we. Might not see as uh, as many nerves with them as we might see with these two. Right, and uh, another thing I've noticed uh, with Tayman, the speedrun strat has actually kind of come through in his in his match. You'll see him start with uh, a four combo into another four combo while he's chaining, which is uh, a very common um, super hard uh, s hard strategy. Yeah. So getting a little lost there, um, you know, I think some of our more seasoned players would have just gone for that three block clear, get that additional stop time um, before you kind of like try to arrange for your trash block clear. Right. And I think that does kind of go back to the nerves a little bit more than not. Um, Hope, hope that these guys won't get frazzled for too much longer. Um, they, they are definitely are starting kind of like warm up into it. Mm -hmm. I know uh, when I was doing uh, this tournament as well at AGDQ, I, I was extremely nervous for my match as well. So it's very understandable. Mm -hmm. Team man, they're getting... Uh, Getting him situated on the bottom there, able to set himself up for some uh, easy clears. Yep. And he sees the two clears at the top of the screen. I was also exactly looking at that point for uh, <laughs> for the clears. <laughs> Doing um, some little uh, swag chains up there on the second tier as well. Pucci not topped off. Actually, he was. He just garbage hadn't fall, fallen yeah. quite yet. And there it is. Yeah. He looked like he was about to make that clear, and he just fell a little bit short. We're having a really... You know, these matches are going by pretty fast, but they're, they're still pretty competitive, you know. These guys are a little bit slower than our winners, but they're, they're still pretty fast, and, and they're, you know, as long as you top off your opponent, you could win at any time. Yeah, with the with the lack of of, of uh, any real stop time, it really could go either way. No matter how much garbage you got on you, your opponent could make one little slip up, and that could be the end of it. And you know, not to like detract from these guys, but level eight is still also pretty fast. Like, you know, mm -hmm. just because our winners are playing at level nine, uh, level eight is still no cakewalk. Yeah, level eight is is very very fast. Still, the the stop time is is 
barely there. Especially, I'm I'm assuming that these guys come mostly from um, the speed running side, where even with S hard, you don't have this kind of um, lack of stop time. No, I think uh, S hard is roughly equivalent to five or six. Yeah, I wanted to say five. Um, so these guys are, you know, dealing with much less stop time than they might possibly be used to. I told you so. Yeah, I can't wait until we get into, you know, winner's final, grand final, or I assume level 10. Um, <laughs> level, the, level, level 10, 10 is, is definitely. different. That is a hyper offensive <laughs> uh, puzzle league. If you top off your opponent first, um, and they're not topping you off at the same time, there's a very good chance that you're going to win. Yeah, and uh, as we were talking, we actually uh, didn't point out that T-Man had uh, taken that first set there. Yep. Lots and lots of combo blocks on yeah. Gucci there. It, it is working. <laughs> you know, if they if they can't get that clear, uh, all you need to do is have enough blocks to top them off. You know, five five combos are very good for just adding layers and layers. Mm -hmm. um, because with two five combos, you actually get two lines of trash, but you also don't give your opponent that many blocks. Right. So uh, when you're doing comboing you can do two four combos and that's fine it's just the a disadvantage to that is that only takes up one uh, one row of garbage because um it's only three across and the playing field is six across so it perfectly fits two four combos right next to each other and but if you alternate with a four and a five every now and then you will every time do that you will get another line yeah so this game actually will stack um four combo trash blocks alternating sides every single time um so if you're doing only four combos you're actually not being as effective as doing you know a four five four Tayman not looking not looking up not looking at his uh marsh badge i believe you know, yeah, he, he had a little bit of a, a moment there where it looked like uh, he knew what he was, what he had to do. He just didn't process it uh, mm -hmm. fast enough. And yeah, the irony being that Sabrina does hold the marsh badge. <laughs> Not using your marsh badges for a clear. Shame on you. I also like, would like to comment that Pucci is using my favorite character, um, not Richie, but Zippo. Zippo is uh, the best Charmander. And Zippo has been eliminated. <laughs> That's a shame. Alright, Tayman moving up. He's one win away from taking this. I want. I also wonder, like, how much these players are kind of um, looking at each other's playing field. Um, you know, kind of like being very aware on when to kind of drop their combos and chains to make it the most painful for their opponent. I'd say it's more of a, a peripheral vision kind of thing, where if you can see their their stack being filled up. Um, in your peripherals, then it's it's a little easier than looking and kind of seeing what yeah. pieces they have available. Yeah, I don't. I, I think I agree with that more. Uh, you shouldn't be too focused on your opponent's playing field. You do need to know what's going on over there, though. You need to know yeah. if they're chaining. You need to know if if uh, they have free space that gives them uh, the ability to raise, because raising your stack actually gives you a lot more ammo and it kind of helps you control the pace of your game versus um, getting all of your pieces from garbage blocks in which your opponent is now controlling the pace. 
And now we have yet another tiebreaker here. And we are at the final round for this this match. Or, I guess match point for Heyman, but also game point for Pucci. Yeah. I'm hoping the next round won't have these uh, badge block. I know, right? <laughs> Now it's it's kind of a divide, uh, and I think the divide is perfectly along people that prefer to play Tetris Attack versus those who prefer to play Pokemon Puzzle League. I am I am through and through a Tetris Attack player. Mm -hmm. um, we do have Tayman and Tayman taking it, and Tayman's going to be the winner of our match here. So something that we also didn't kind of mention is that it's not only your vision that can help you determine what your opponent is doing; it's also an audio cue. 